include that name? How is that disrespectful? Isn't that, like, let's take your argument at face value. Wouldn't that be a journey of transition, a courageous movement towards who you really are? Like an uplifting kind of sort of story and saga from the man I used to be and the woman I am now? How's that disrespectful? Oh, well, in that context, uh, probably. I mean, oh, so dead naming's now okay. I mean, maybe my tweet was all about the courageous journey of Ricardo Levine that once was named Richard and now his name is Rachel. Do you see what's getting here is that you're putting a lot of preference on context and on how I identify and all of this. And your opinions, you can have your opinions. But what we're talking about tonight is how we structure society, right? And that is a totally different thing than your opinion. What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back again with a new video, guys. So they're going to be reacting to the ultimate man and woman sports debate, okay? Let's give it a try. You put a lot of focus on Leah Thomas and that whole situation. However, what about all of the other trans athletes that don't make it to the top? Because I unfortunately don't have a list of every trans athlete known to man. I didn't fully prepare, but what about all of the, because Leah Thomas is one case out of many. So what about the other trans athletes that have transitioned and do participate in sports, but don't make it to the top and are middle of the pack? Well, they're still beating other women, aren't they? They're taking somebody's spot, right? Well, no. But they are not, women. Okay, they have so, transitioned. So let, let's ask a question. Mm -hmm. So uh, thank you for being here and the courage for talking. First of, of all, what, what is a woman? Let's start there. Well, as she said, anyone who identifies as such, and traditionally it would be gender dysphoria, that is a legitimate medical condition. So if you have gender dysphoria, you know, yes. Okay, so let's, let's, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. So that's your personal definition of what a woman is. Why should society adopt that definition, therefore disenfranchising chromosomal born women? Really, it's out of respect for those that have the condition. Got it. So we should elevate the people with the mental condition over half the population. No. <laughs> Not at all. Um, I'm just saying that we should just simply, because it... It's not a battle between I'm elevating this person over another person. It's merely out of respect for that person for them to feel comfortable and to okay, participate so in the sport of, you know, Got their so, gender that they identify okay, as. Okay, so feeling comfortable. So giving people what they want is not always the right thing, okay? True. So let me give you an example. We, we do not give liposuction to people with anorexia. People who have anorexia would want liposuction. It would kill them. We know better than that. Mm -hmm. So just giving people what they want is not always the right thing. So you say to make people comfortable. We could probably agree. I don't want people to be uncomfortable. But then you have the choice to make. What if all of a sudden you're making half the population uncomfortable and the sport itself is all of a sudden being destroyed and standards as we know it are completely destroyed? So let me ask you a question. If someone, and I, I don't want to assume your gender, you could tell me whatever it is, um, it is dealing with that situation, why don't they continue to compete as that new gender with the people with their chromosomes that they share? Because they don't identify as such. And I actually, um, I'm really glad you, you brought up the example with the, I, I'm sorry, could I like steer the conversation back towards well, what of, you said about but comfort? Let, but let me ask you another question. So I, how people okay. identify matters a lot to you, right? Yes, Correct? Of course. Okay, so should we allow adults who identify as toddlers compete in preschool soccer? No. Why? They identify as a child. They want, we want them to be comfortable. No, because that's not a legitimate mental illness. It absolutely is. Condition. No, 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 no. That's a real thing. Having people think that they're in a different body is a totally, is a real thing. People think that they're dogs, people think that they're cats, and some people think they're children still. They never grow out of it. It's a legitimate mental condition. So shouldn't we accommodate fully grown 50-year-old men who want to play t-ball? Well, no, because that's a, they require a different treatment plan. And th this is what I wanted to steer back to. Really? Okay. Yes, I wanted, to steer, I wanted to steer back towards the, what we talked about with comfort. It is shown, and this is legitimate, those who transition and are treated as the gender that they identify as mentally improve 
unbelievably, and it is absolutely yeah, true. So I hate to break it to you. They're more likely to commit suicide. There's a huge community <laughs> called Transition Regret. I encourage you to look at it. It has 27,000 members on Facebook of people who make the chemical castration decision to transition, and that's an irreversible decision. It's a growing group of people that say, I was sold a complete bill of goods here. And so, you know, that, that really is the question, which is, if it's, re if it's irreversible, and you're citing some study that, on honestly, the data shows exactly the opposite, is that they're more likely to commit suicide, more likely for self-harm, all these sorts of things. What is the proper way to treat it? As I said, this study has not been disproven. The reason that the suicide rate is so high is because they are bullied for who they are. See, this I is, have seen it this is nonsense. in school, and this is a truth. And you know why I know it's nonsense? Because every single person in this room disagrees with you fundamentally and is treating you incredibly respectfully tonight. That is a pile of, of garbage. I know it's a pile of garbage. Of course. And so instead, and I'll be honest, it's the people that are in those positions that end up becoming the bullies themselves that kicked me off of Twitter. That's, and no offense, but kind of your team is the one that's super like offended that I used a name that Levine used to have. Like who's the bully in this situation? Well, it, it's disrespectful to do that because she identifies as a woman. Was and it, it is just disrespect, Levine's that name? is why we, some, I can't speak for everyone else. I can only speak for myself at the end of the day, right? And I, it's just disrespectful, and it is not right to call Leah Thomas her dead name well, out of respect for L her. Levine or whatever, but, so, but let, let me, let me zero in on this, right? So it's a birth name, whatever you could call it, a dead name. It's fine. But if I were to do a biography on Thomas, Straight. and I would include that name, how is that disrespectful? Isn't that, like, let's take your argument at face value. Wouldn't that be a journey of transition, a courageous movement towards who you really are? Like an uplifting kind of sort of story and saga from the man I used to be and the woman I am now? How's that disrespectful? Oh, well, in that context, then, for, uh, probably. I oh, mean, so dead naming's now okay. I mean, maybe my tweet was all about the courageous journey of Ricardo Levine that once was named Richard and now his name is Rachel. Do you see what's getting here is that you're putting a lot of preference on context and on how I identify and all of this. And your opinions, you can have your opinions. But what we're talking about tonight is how we structure society. Straight. Right? And that is a totally different thing than your opinion. So when we start to structure society on a vast minority opinion, and we start to use power and force around that vast minority of an opinion, all of a sudden, the, the only way you can win that argument is the person who wins the oppression Olympics is the person who says, I'm the most victimized, therefore I get to create the rules because I'm not comfortable. And here's something that you might not want to hear, is that if you have liberty, by definition, you're not going to be comfortable. You cannot have liberty and comfort. They are, you can't have them together. Instead, you know what? And I think deep down you have this in you. You can get stronger. And I want you to get stronger. Instead of you trying to remove everything that offends you in the world, I want you to dig deeper and be tougher than the people around you. That's what we believe. Final thought. Final thought. Yeah. Oh, final thought. Um, sorry. Um, I'm trying to think of a final thought. At the end of the day, like, I, no hate towards you. I respect your opinion, of course. Like, I'm not here to, you know, cause a fight or a, an intense argument. I'm just saying I, I disagree. Yeah. And there is no oppression Olympics. All that, you know, we want is simply just recognition and respect. That's really it. Well, look, um, here's the thing, is that that's, that's what you want. And individually, I think I've given that to you. But here's where I draw the line. I'm not going to restructure society on something I know that's not true. I'm not going to turn my back on 50% of the population for something that's not true. And I'm certainly not going to call somebody a pronoun that I know that isn't true in front of me. So I believe your soul totally demands respect. Absolutely. 100%. But as soon as you then start to get into society and civilization and restructure everything around your feelings, then all of a sudden it's whoever has the loudest voice and who's willing to use power. And that's where we as conservatives draw the line. I want to thank you for being here tonight, truly. Thank, th you. thank you. Thank you for your time. Okay. That was well spoken.
because they said the guy right there that was asking the question they said what it was is respect uh to be identified what's who they are okay that is not how society works if we are to work in that way a lot of people who is going to be start identifying as criminals and they'll start stealing start identifying as whoever they are and start doing some things that should not be tolerated in the first place you see this world that we are in we have rules we have policies that guide us you being choosing your identity to choose that i'm a woman or a man right now people are choosing to be dog horses cats rats whatsoever thing that they choose to identify as because you feel you are this does not mean that's who you are when someone look at you if you can see the guy right there that's asking the question he's a guy he sounds like a plain guy but he's trying to dress like a woman but when i see him i know he's, he's a man Irrespective of how you dressed or if you go if you have gone to do transition to be a woman. If you are to die when you were born, you have the genitals, you have a penis. When you die, you dig out your 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 grave. You have you your the autopsy shows you are a man. When you were born, the first thing that the doctor saw, your genitals, was a penis, you are a man. So you you can't run away from that. You can't no matter how you choose to say, I'm, I'm this, I'm a dog, you can't run away from who you really are. You can't run away. For me, I feel like this is gender, this is gender diaspora. I feel like it's confusion. Uh, a lot of people are in the aspects in their life right now that they're still confused. I feel like they need time to wake up from there. And a lot of people, I've seen a lot of, I've heard the stories, I've seen interviews about people who made such changes such alteration in their life by going to do some surgeries and later they regret it so you feeling some way today tomorrow you can change that feeling to something else but your decision you have made have altered your life already some 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 ladies go to, go on to do some surgeries to cut off their breasts like that is that is outrageous after some years, they find that they don't feel to be a man anymore. They want to be a woman. Like, the surgery has already been done. Like, there are some decisions people make right now that they should think twice, go for counseling, and so many things. I know gender dysphoria is real. Some, a lot of people, some people experience such aspects in their life, but it wasn't as loud as it is right now. That it almost... Everyone, every page I see right now, everybody wants to be a man or so wants to be a woman. It's getting too much. People now go by their feelings, what they feel like. It's it's outrageous, guys. I love how Charles handled this match or lay like he points the points clay and the guy who was asking the questions, he was just he don't want to create any any arguments. He just wants to get clarified and Charles clarified this in a perfect way anyone could ever do. And Charles, please, oh, and Charles clarified it perfectly. This was an amazing video to watch. And I hope this guy go back and watch this video. <laughs> and make some changes. Because I hope he changed his attitude and his how the mindset already. I know some people commit suicide because people don't accept them for who they are. But I feel like they should think more. They should go for counseling. That is going to help them way, 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 way more. Way more. Because they want everybody to follow their lead. But the world don't work that way. So that is just it. Comment down below what you think about this video. Give us a thumbs up. Share this video as many as you can. Subscribe to the channel, guys. And how do it? We'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just bought a bag, like an old lady I'm back, wood smoking, I don't own papers Pass that 808, that don't, don't shake her Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater Baby, mama bugging, I'm so quick to hit ignore Buku bitch, in my bed, I got scales all